Hello there, this is Dave Allen from No Stylus, and I want to talk to you about an application called Daedalus. And I'd seen this application once before somewhere, I can't remember exactly where now, but I wanted to buy it then, I thought, no, nah, I shan't bother. In fact, I had said that I wasn't going to buy any more text editing applications because I had plenty on my iPad already. But then I saw that this application actually will export out to EPUB, and I was hooked. So I spent the whole 79 cents to buy it. So here we are in Daedalus, and to get started, well, you've got this sort of thing where you've got stacks, okay? So you don't have the old sort of set of files over the left-hand side and a view area on the right-hand side where you can see the what's in the file and stuff. You've got this sort of nice thing where you slice between these different things, and I'm just scrolling through them. A bit sort of like the cover flow view, I suppose it is, isn't it? And if I want to have a look in this sharing and how to sync with stacks with the iCloud thing, then all I've got to do is to tap on it. So I'm going to tap on that now. Now that's a stack of uh, sheets now. Within this stack of sheets, I can slide across there and I can have a look in each one of these. So if I want to look into this one here, for instance, I want to look into this one, tap on that in there, and I'm into this sheet. And this is kind of like your, your basic note, as it were. So this is quite good. So now if I want to do some editing, so I tap on that again, and now I'm doing some editing. If I tap in the middle of this button bar, just there, that takes me down to the bottom of the document. So that's quite good. I like that. You can do things where, let's say I want to select that there. I'll just do a double tap on that word. And what I want to do is I want to have that word so that I'm going to use um, Markdown here. I want it to, so it's going to be in italics when I put it out in Markdown. So just tap on that there, and now that's going to be italics. If I select it again and do another tap on it, now it's going to be in bold. So I've got this set up basically so I can do some sort of uh, markdown sort of editing with it. If this here is one of my headers, for instance, I can just tap on that there. That's a header one. There's a header two. Put a space in between it and I'm done. It's markdowned. If I want to do a link with this, then I can select that there. Say I want that word to be a link. Tap on that. And then I do another one of those, and then I put in the URL where it's going to go to if it's an inline link. So mac22.com. Now this application is so clever that I've done this here at the start of it. I've put in a open square bracket. Now I press the same button again, and it's going to give me the closing square bracket. Now isn't that marvellous? It did half the job for me. So that's how to do an inline one. Put the keyboard out of the way, and I want to get back to the look at the stack again. Just got to do a gesture where I'm pinch closing, and there we are back into that there. And if I pinch close once more, it takes me back to the top level of the stacks. So that's quite good, isn't it? And you've got a whole lot of information here which tells you how this thing works, and you've got your gesture overview there, look. So this, tell, this one here tells you about how to do all the different types of gestures in the application. At the top here on the right-hand side, if I want to put a new sheet in there, I can just click that and I've got a new sheet. Put a title in there. Okay, so Mac20Q. And that's the title for that sheet. And then I can go into this bit here and start putting some text in. And of course, don't forget, I can actually dictate this text in there. Isn't that good? Okay, so there we go. We've got another sheet in there. Let's just uh, pinch that out again. If I want to move that sheet so it's somewhere else within the stack, then what I do is tap and hold down, and I can move it. Let's put it over there. So that's good. You can move the stacks around. And if I'm on this last one here, so this is the last sheet in the stack. Let's put the last one in there. If I do a swipe to the left from the right, it puts me another sheet in there so I can start doing some more editing. How about that then? That's good. Okay, so there you go. That's how to add new sheets into it. Another thing that we've got within a Daedalus is this lookup. And basically what we've got here is a web browser. So, so we've got Google, Wikipedia, this dictionary one, and Markdown syntax. But we've also got the last visited one. So let's go to the last visited one. And this one takes me through to the No Stylus website. How about that then? Now let's go to this thing here, which is our synchronization. Every now and again it will sync. Or I just click on that button there and it will do it manually. So there you go, that's how you can get that to synchronize. And that's where it's gone to, in Dropbox. I can click on Edit, I can have Auto Sync, or I can manage accounts. And I can also synchronize to Box.com or WebDAV. I haven't got a WebDAV set up, so I'll have to do with that on that one there. 
So something that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to export this out. So let's just do this here. Now this export becomes available. And I can click on that export and I can send it out as mail, copy as clipboard. I can put it out as an RTF if I want to. But what really got me was this one here about sending it out as an EPUB. So at the moment I've got it set up so that the title's in there as bet you didn't know. Okay, so we're going to create an EPUB. We can choose a cover image out of this here. I uh, get this from your camera roll. I used a picture of a mountain lion in there. Well, I would, wouldn't I? Now, I found the most efficient way to do this is to save it to Dropbox. And then if you want to open it up something else, like, for instance, you want to open it up in iBooks, then you can do your opening from Dropbox. Or if you've got some way of um, putting it into your iTunes, then that could be another way of doing it. So get it into your Dropbox and then take it from there so that you can actually look at it. In fact, let's I've done this already, so let's just go into iBooks. There it is in Books Look in the top left hand corner. Now this was a previous one that I sent out from Daedalus and I can read it here in iBooks. Now isn't that marvellous? I'm absolutely gobsmacked by this. I think it's brilliant. I suppose the only difficulty with this is the fact that you're not going to be able to put any pictures into this inline because it's just a text application. But it's still pretty good though, isn't it? This application supports Markdown, so you can choose which file extension you want. You have .md, .mdown or .markdown, or you can just have it as a .txt file. And you can even compress it and have it as a zip file. Well, text files tend to be fairly small anyway, so I'm not going to compress it up, but it, I could do if I wanted to. All what I could do is I could tell it to open in. So let's go to the export again. And this occasion we'll go to text. And we've got a few choices there. Now I have tried clicking on opening by word and that didn't work for me. Let's try opening it up in uh, Textastic. That's a good application, Textastic. So there you go. We've got it in Textastic. So this is Dave Allen. We've had a quick look at what you can do with Daedalus. I'm sure there's a few things in there that I haven't actually looked at yet and shown you in this one here, but I think it's a darn good application. And best of all, it was only 79 cents. And we're not just the last of the big spenders. Oh yeah, another thing you can do, before I go quickly, you can do a search in this top uh, bar up here, look. So let's have a look for the word open. So there you go, Daedalus. Have some fun with it. Bye-bye now, talk to you again soon. And if you haven't done so already, don't forget to click on the like button. Bye-bye now.